Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy and you're watching the Edit With Me Monday show. The show where we make editing in Lightroom super, super simple. Now, last video I asked you, what do you wanna learn about? You guys gave me so many ideas, literally your list was like that long. So that's great, it helps me make videos that you wanna see. And the question that came up the most right now was how to make your own Lightroom preset. And I love, love, love this question because I'm actually working on my first Lightroom preset pack right now. I know, it's cool. Um, so I know a lot about it and I think it's really important to know how to make and adjust your own presets. So let's get at it. All right, so to keep this tutorial quick and simple, we're gonna say that you already have some settings. You've already edited a photo. You love the edits that you did and you wanna save that as a preset. So I have this photo right here, sort of nostalgia, vintage vibes. There's the before, there's the after, and I really like these settings, so I wanna save them for a future photo. So if you want, go find a photo that you've already edited and you're gonna test this out with that photo. So we have it up here, and I'm gonna go over to this presets folder here, click the plus, create preset. Name your preset up here, vintage vibes, now, if I leave the group just user presets, my preset's gonna show up in here. And right now, not everything is checked. So I'm gonna go check all, and it's gonna save every single setting that I have put onto this preset, which is what I want. So I'm gonna go create. Now we can see that that vintage vibes came up right there. Perfect, I literally just created my preset, guys. That is how easy it was. Also, just a quick mention, I post these videos every single Monday, so if you like my teaching style, you wanna learn more about Lightroom, subscribe and you'll get more. So now let's say that I want to sort of create my own pack of presets. I just don't want them showing up here. I wanna have a pack like this. Gonna go plus, create preset, name it, vintage, and go to group, click, and new group. Now I can name this whole pack, my awesome presets, create, boom. So create, and now I actually have a whole folder for my own original custom presets, which is just a nice way to organize everything. Click that down, there we go, we have our vintage preset right there. So now, let's just say as I'm editing this, I actually feel like, you know what, I want those shadows more. Maybe I want it to be brighter, bring down the whites. Essentially, I'm making some other changes to this preset and I wanna save those. What I can do is you can go onto Vintage, right click and put Update with Current Settings. That is going to re-save your preset with these new settings. Maybe you don't wanna to totally disregard your old one. Again, go to the plus, Create Preset, and let's say, Vintage two, and maybe a note like brighter. Create, and there it is. So now we can go, do we want the vintage or the vintage brighter version? So that is a great way to use presets. I love to have a couple variants on all of my presets, maybe a daytime and a nighttime version, so that I can actually use them in a bunch of different scenarios and I don't have to customize them every single time. So that's how easy it is to go and make your own preset. The hard part is going through, figuring out all of the settings that you wanna use for it, right? That's gonna take time, you have to experiment on that. But if you want some help, check out all my other Lightroom videos where I break down all of these panels and go through that, edit it to your liking, and then save it into a preset and test it out. And then let's say you want to export it. Maybe you wanna share it, you wanna sell it, all that kind of stuff. You're gonna go to the preset you want, right click, show in Finder, and here comes up that folder with my two presets. And I can take those, save them, make a zip, do anything from there to share that preset. So that's how easy it is to save your settings, make a preset and export them in Lightroom. The hardest part is figuring out what those settings should be and you really just have to experiment with that. Now luckily, heads up, 
I've made my preset pack specifically to help you find your style and to learn Lightroom. It's gonna come out in a couple weeks, but in the least spammy way possible, hit the notification bell on my channel, at least for the next couple weeks, because when I launch the presets, the first couple days, I'm gonna do a pretty big discount only for my YouTube fam just for you as a big thank you. So it's only gonna be up for a couple days at that discounted price. So hit the notification bell so that you know when they're launched. Then afterwards you can unclick the notification bell, whatever you wanna do, I don't really care. Um, but just a heads up because I really only want like the YouTube fam, all you guys who have been supporting me to get that at a great deal. Anyway, have fun making your own presets in the meantime. Until next time, peace.